Miss Jenica Alexis Sabado, and I will be your mathematics teacher for this school year. So I would like to welcome everyone in our class, and Amethyst. And for this time, we will be having our week one discussion. So in this case, I will be requesting you all to also participate for our group Facebook group in which you have to put your surname and first name for the attendance. So you will see my post there that the week one attendance, you have to comment your name followed by the screenshot of your sit work with your name and of course your score. And I think we are now ready for our first lesson. So for this time, may I request everybody to go to gimkit.com slash play. If you are in, please show me a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Are you on our gimkit.com slash play? Are we good? I see nine players now. And we will be making teams here. So this will be done by team. So we now have the Amazon, Violet, the Cyan, and Avocado. This is just a one-minute game. So every question, you just have to click continue. Okay? And let's begin our game. Avocado, we have Richmond and Carlo. Good job. And the Amazon, we have Chenny, Angel, and Leia. And as we can see, we have there the fourth, the Violet team. But it's just two dollar difference, so it's just okay. Okay, it's just a an energizer for us before we go on with our discussion. So good job. Still, we still have good scores for this. And now, since we are done with our energizer. We wanted to connect this to our lesson. So I want everybody to pay attention to our lesson. Thank you for participating to our activity earlier. Again, it's just your game kit play. And actually, what you've answered is related to our discussion for today. So let's just go back to those problems that we answered. So I have there fill in the blanks. I started with two, four, six, Eight and blank and the answer is very good the answer is 10 M T W T F it looks familiar right I think I have seen it posted somewhere in your house so the answer here is actually letter S so we have Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and Miss Saturday Right. Okay, let's have the third one. What about this? 2, 4, 8, 16. Very good. The answer here is actually 32. And what we are actually doing is a sequence. When we speak of a sequence, we are referring to a set of related elements arranged in a particular order. So, meron po tayong order na sinusundan. And that order is actually what we call the pattern. This pattern is actually the rule to follow in creating our sequence. So, again, let's move on to other examples. This 1, 4, 7, 13. What could be the pattern in order for us to get the next value? Very good. We are just adding 3. 
What about this one? I think this one is the hardest problem that I have given. So let's see if you will get it correctly. I have there O, T, T, F, F, S. What is this? This is actually the first letter of our counting numbers. So you have one, O, T, T, F, F, and S. Good job. And for this time, we will be discussing the first kind of sequence for our lesson. That sequence is actually called an arithmetic sequence. So when we speak of arithmetic sequence, this is actually called arithmetic progression. So this is a sequence in which the common difference, common ibig sabihin, we have the same differences in between the numbers, is called the constant denoted by letter D. So in this case, let's have first an example. Help me identify if the given sequence is an arithmetic sequence or not. So I just wanted you to do thumbs up if it's an arithmetic sequence and thumbs down if it is not. So let's start with the first one. Is this an arithmetic sequence? 19, 22, 25, 28, 31. Up or down? Okay, I'm seeing phases. Let's see. So to get the common difference, let's just identify what number is added. So we add 3, another 3, another 3, and also 3. Since this is common, 3 is common, therefore, this is an arithmetic sequence. Good job! Let's have another example. What about this? 1, 3, 7, 13, and 21. Hmm, arithmetic sequence or not? Let's find out. 1, to get 3, you have to add 2. 3 to 7, add 4. 7 to 13, we have to add 6. And 13 to 21, you have to add 8. Oh, there is no common difference. Therefore, this is not an arithmetic sequence. Good. Let's have the third example. For the third example, we have here 31, 28, 25, 22, and 19. The numbers are decreasing. Yes, we subtracted it by 3. Again, same thing. Same thing. Negative 3. Yes, and another negative 3. And there is a common difference. Therefore, it's a thumbs up. Wow, you're doing great, guys. Let's have more. What about this one? The sequence 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Are we adding a common number? So let's try. Is it thumbs up or thumbs down? Let's see. So we just add 1 here. Add 2. Add 4. And add 8. Again, there's no common difference. Therefore, it's not an arithmetic sequence. Okay? So just a gentle reminder for everybody first that in an arithmetic sequence, the only operation used is addition. If we are seeing numbers decreasing, we are adding a negative number. But if the numbers are increasing, then we are adding a positive number. So I think we are getting to know arithmetic sequence well. Let's have more example. So this activity is called a missing part of you. So yes. Yeah. So let's see. The following forms an arithmetic sequence. Find the common difference in order to identify the missing terms. So I'm going to call on somebody to tell me what is the common difference here and then give me the three missing parts. Yes, I'm going to call on someone. So I hope you're ready. I have there 3, 12, 21. Okay, may I call in Renzel? Renzel? 
could you tell me what would be the common difference here and can you identify the three missing terms? The go. common difference is 9 and the three missing is 30, 39, and... Plus 9. 48. Okay, let's see if she is correct. Very good! Our common difference here is actually 9. And the numbers are 30, 39, and 48. Let's have another problem. What about 8, 3, negative 2, blank, blank, blank? Again, let's start by identifying our common difference. Now, again, let's call on somebody to explain this one or to give me the common difference and the three blanks. Let's have Kristen May. The common difference is negative 5 and the three missing parts is negative, negative 7, negative 12, and negative 17. Okay, so let's see if KM is correct. Thank you for that answer. Good job! Very good. So we have there, since this is decreasing, it's a negative number. We are adding a negative number. And the number is negative 5. So again, negative 2 minus 5, your keep change change, it becomes negative 7. And negative 5 again, negative 12. And negative 5 again, negative 17. Good job! So now, may I ask somebody... How did we get the common difference? May I call in someone? Junior, do you want to answer? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what? how do you get the common difference? So, in order for us to get the common difference, we need to subtract the second term to the first term. So, let's see yes. if your answer is correct. So, to tell you, let's go back to the previous examples. In order to get 12, we need to add 9 to 3. In order to get 21, we need to add 9 to 12. So how do we get this? We simply get two terms. The terms must be consecutive. In this case, I'm going to use the first and the second term. So I'll just subtract the second term by the first term. Medyo mahaba isulat, no? So let's replace this one by using a sub 2 and a sub 1. a sub 1 is your first term, a sub 2 is your second term. So a sub 2 minus a sub 1, that's 12 minus 3, that gives you 9. Very good. Let's have another one. 8, 3, negative 2, negative 7, negative 12, negative 17. Again, you can use any consecutive numbers. But in this case, we'll be using the first two numbers because this is the easy numbers that we have here. So in this case, second term minus first term, again, rewrite it as a sub 2 minus a sub 1. So you have there 3 minus 8. Again, our rule for subtracting integers is to keep change change. Keep your first term change your operation, and then change the sign of the next term. So you have there 3 plus negative 8, which is negative 5. So what about this one? Oh, there's another missing term, but this time, the missing term is not just the number at the later part, but it's somewhere in the middle. So we know how to use the formula for common difference, right? So let's have here b equals a sub 2 minus a sub 1. That is 12 minus 5, which is 7. So you just have to add 7. 12 plus 7 is 19. 19 plus 7 is 26. And 26 plus 7, we have 33. Good job. Let's have another example. Let's Keep warming up for this activity. Later on, you're going to have a sit work, okay? So let's have this. Oh, the blank is actually the second term. Reminder, for the common difference, we can use any two consecutive numbers. So in this case, we'll use the third and the fourth. 
So our fourth term is 29 minus our third term, 20. That gives you 9. So 2 plus 9 is 11. 11 plus 9 is 20. 20 plus 9 is 29. And 9, 29 plus 9 is 38. Now we are down to our last example before we proceed with your seat work. Let's have, oh, the blanks now are the first term and the last term. So again, just find two consecutive numbers in between. So in this case, we will be using the third and the second term. That is 10 minus 4, which is 6. Hmm. It is actually easier to in to write the answer for the last term. So you'll just have 16 plus 6, which is 22. But what are we going to do to get the first term? Do you have any idea how are we going to get the first term? So if you know the answer, can, can I see a raise of hand and explain to us how to get the first term in this case? Anybody? Yes, Richmond. And me? Just to graph them. Richmond, what is 4 minus 6? Negative 2, ma'am. Okay, so let's try if his answer is correct. Since we are going it, doing it in reverse, we will be subtracting 6 to 4. So that becomes 4 minus 6, which is negative 2. Any questions so far? So if there is none, I want you to use your papers. I'm going to be giving you five minutes to answer five problems. You have to identify your common difference as well as the missing terms. Then after which we will be checking. Don't worry, this is just your practice exercise in order for me to know that you've learned something. Okay, so for seat work, again, it's just five minutes. So the five minutes... You may begin. Hi, okay, ma'am. And for number one, I to to get the common difference. D is equal to A sub 2 minus A sub 1. Then substitute it to A sub 2 is equal to 14 minus A sub 1 is equal to 17. Then I get negative 3. Then minus it already to 14. Then the missing numbers are 11, 8, and 2. Okay. Good job for that. Uh, common difference will be worth 1 point. So you have to self-check your work, okay? Again, common difference is one point while the blanks. There are three blanks, but you just have to give it two checks. Thank you so much, Richmond. Let's now have Carlo, number two. Yeah, Sige, please explain. So, so to get the common difference, we need to subtract the consecutive term, which is... 24 and 19. Okay. So our common difference is 5. five. Good. So then we need to add the first term to the common difference. So the second term is 9. Yes. And the third term is 14. And the last term is 29. Okay, good job. That's Again, all. one point for the common difference and then two points for the blanks. Let's have the third problem. Chenny. Nice. Okay, good. Number three. First we, need to, first, we need to find the common difference. And since there is no first term, second term, and third term, we need to find the two consecutive numbers. Uh, and that is 12 minus 8. So the common difference is 4. Uh, and since the missing terms are on the left side, we need to subtract it. Eight, so 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. And 0 minus 4 is equal to negative 4. Nice. Good job. Okay. Can I have number 4, Leia? 
Again, one point for the common difference and then two points for the black. Go. Number four, we need to find the common difference first. So I use the the missing uh, I use the fifth and the sixth terms to find the common di common difference. So thirty nine minus thirty one equals eight. So I need to find the three missing terms. So I add eight to negative one. So seven plus seven plus eight equals fifteen. And 15 plus 8 equals 20. Okay, so again, one point for common difference and then two points for the blanks. Thank you, Leah, for sharing your answer. Now let's go back to the fifth problem. And for the fifth problem, we can see that from 13, the last now is negative 17. So the number decrease automatic that our common difference is a negative number. So to solve the problem, we have to get two consecutive numbers which are negative 17 and negative 11. So negative 17 minus negative 11 is negative 6. Do not forget to keep change, change your problem. Upon getting your common difference, negative 6, you may now add it to our first term. 13 plus negative 6 is 7. 7 plus negative 6 is 1. 1 plus negative 6 is negative 5, and negative 5 plus negative 6 is negative 11, and negative 11 plus negative 6 is negative 17. Okay, so please do count your scores and do not forget to take a photo. Make sure that you put your score and your name on your paper and then send it or comment it on our FB group. And we have our homework. You have to watch our video lesson 1.2 and 1.3 as continuation lessons. And to answer activities 1.2 and 1.3, activities will be submitted five days after. So from now, it's July 12. If there are questions again, do not bombard me on Messenger. Instead, on our group page, you can post there your question. And we can help each other to answer different questions. So with that, I would want to thank everyone for participating for today's lesson. And for now, goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you so Bye -bye. much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.